Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. You've determined that the door switch has failed on your dryer. Let me show you how easy a job that is. All you're going to need is a putty knife and a Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how easy it is. The very first step to this repair will be to remove the lint screen. It pulls out of the top. Located beneath that are two Phillips screws that we need to remove. The next step will be to depress clips that hold the top cover down. There's one located about an inch in from the right and an inch in from the left. We'll use our putty knife for that. And you may find that you need to pull forward on the top. Ideally, we'd like to have a wall to lean that top up against, but if not, take a cord, fasten it through one of these two screw holes to a point on the cabinet to suspend it in an upright position. Now that we have our top secured, our next step is to disconnect the wire harness to the switch. Sometimes these are a little tight, so take your putty knife, just disengage the locking tabs. Now our next step will be to open up the dryer door, remove the two Phillips screws that are holding the switch in place. They're located on either side of the switch tab. As you remove the last screw, you want to hold the switch in your other hand so that it doesn't fall down inside out of sight. Pull it out through the back. Now, to reinstall our new one, we need to make sure that the tab is faced towards the front. Slide it down to the square opening. Line up the screw holes. And reinsert the screws from the front. Make sure the two screws line up with the holes in the switch. Don't over tighten them. Next step will be to reconnect the wire harness. The last step is to put our top back down. And remove our support device. Make sure there's no wire harnesses to get pinched, line it up over the retaining clips, just press down in each corner, and we'll put the two screws that hold the lint filter in place.
All that remains to be done is to reconnect the power. It really was an easy repair, wasn't it? Good luck with your repair, and thanks for watching.